This video will provide an overview of the Insight Analytics ribbon of Prediction Insight for Excel and the available tasks on it. To access the Insight Analytics ribbon, click on the Insight Analytics tab in Excel after installing Prediction Insight for Excel. The Insight Analytics ribbon is arranged to walk you through the steps necessary to complete basic to advanced predictive analytics workflow on data in Excel or PowerPoint from data preparation to model application and management. The sections are Prepare Data, Build Models, Test, Apply, and Manage. The toolbar also contains the Prediction menu, which provides access to your account and online help, as well as the Prediction website. The Prepare Data section on the ribbon contains the Explore Data tool, the Relabel and Outlier Clean Data tools, the Sample Data tool, and the Upload Data task. Explore Data lets you view histograms of your categorical and numerical columns as well as allowing you to bin or discretize numerical columns. The two clean data tools help you prepare your data by removing spurious and unmeaningful data from each column. Relabel helps you change values to consolidate or hierarchize data. Outliers helps you remove extreme values or underrepresented values from your data set. The sample data tool allows you to randomly split data into distinct sets, reduce the number of rows in a data set, or to balance data sets to ensure sufficient representation of the data of interest. The Upload Data task allows you to specify a set of data from Excel or PowerPivot to upload to Prediction Insight in order to build models. When you upload data to Prediction, you specify the data source and columns to upload as well as how much data will be set aside for testing. The result of uploading data is a prediction data set which will contain all of the models created on that data. All of the modeling tasks allow you to create a data set directly without uploading data in a separate step. However, by explicitly uploading, you can include data such as individual columns that you may not want to use in a specific model. Next, we have the Build Models section of the ribbon. It provides tasks to build five different types of models. Classify, Estimate, Segment, associate, and forecast. Each task can use Excel data, PowerPivot data, or an already uploaded prediction data set. Within each task, you can specify which columns to use to build the model, as well as the predictive method and specific method parameters. When specifying PowerPivot or prediction data sets, you can also specify filters to shape the data used by the model. Classify builds models that discriminate between states or classes of a categorical column and can be used to predict that state. If you classify a numerical column, Classify will automatically bin the column into distinct ranges. Estimate builds models that predict the numerical value of a column. Segment builds models that divide rows of data into groups or segments based on similarity. Associate builds models on transactional data to find the relationships between transactional items and for use in recommendation systems. Forecast builds models on time series data for forecasting future values and understanding indicating factors. That brings us to the test section of the Insight Analytics ribbon. This section contains tasks to help you evaluate the models you have created using data set aside as it was uploaded to Prediction Insight or any additional testing data you may have in Excel or PowerPivot. The test section contains the accuracy chart, the classification matrix, the profit chart, and the cross-validation task. The accuracy chart task lets you evaluate a single model or all the models in a prediction data set by creating either a gains and lift chart report for classify models or a scatter plot report for estimate models. The classification matrix task provides the counts and percentages of correct and incorrect classifications of a model or set of models and indicates which responses are selected on incorrect classifications. The profit chart task lets you provide scenario information for marketing campaigns to create a profit chart report to evaluate the profit potential of using a classification model. The cross-validation task evaluates your classify, estimate, and segmentation models by evaluating the model over a series of folds to help you evaluate and understand the accuracy and suitability of the model on your data. Next we have the Apply section of the Insight Analytics ribbon, which contains tasks and tools to help you use and understand your models. It contains the Browse tool, the Document Model tool, and the Query task. 
The Browse tool provides interactive viewers that let you explore the patterns discovered by your predictive models. Patterns can be copied directly from the viewers back into your Excel workbook. The Document Model tool creates a report containing basic information about a model specific to the predictive method that was used. The Query task allows you to apply a model to data in Excel, Power Pivot, or a prediction data set to obtain predictions. The query task can also be used to retrieve data from a prediction data set or to extract rules and patterns from a predictive model. Finally, the Manage section of the Insight Analytics ribbon contains tasks and tools that help you manage all of the pieces of Prediction Insight. This section contains the Manage My Stuff, My Tasks, and My Macros buttons. Manage My Stuff contains a selection of tasks to change models and datasets names and descriptions, delete, clear, and reprocess models and datasets, as well as export and import models and datasets. Manage My Tasks shows and hides the prediction task pane that displays all of your prediction tasks currently or recently executed asynchronously. Manage My Macros allows you to run the Prediction Insight macros that you can create by choosing the appropriate option at the end of specific task wizards. Thank you for taking the time to view this overview of the Insight Analytics ribbon in Prediction Insight for Excel. Please visit our help and website for more information on Prediction Insight and additional tutorial videos.